Every year, human activity adds millions of metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalents to the atmosphere. So Australia, Mexico, Brazil, South Africa, Canada, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Indonesia, Germany, Iran, and Japan are in the top 15 countries for emissions. The top four countries are the Russian Federation, India, the United States, whose uh, emissions almost equal India, Russia, and Japan combined, and China. Between 2018 and 2019, China surpassed 10,000 million metric tons, what in the United States would be called 10 billion metric tons, and represented more than a quarter of global emissions. The relative sizes of carbon emissions compared to other countries changes. For example, in recent years, a number of countries have cut emissions, such as the United States and the European Union while in other countries such as India and China, emissions have risen. Overall in the world, uh, emissions are increasing and the world currently releases 35,000 million metric tons, or in the United States what would be called 35 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalents. Because of the decreased economic activity in 2020 due to the coronavirus, it is thought that global emissions will drop by about 7%. Uh, but this can vary from country to country. It is thought the U.S. dropped its emission 12%, the European Union 11%, while China only 2%. Clearly, fossil fuel use in a given country can change over time, such as the United States. So that you can see from 1990 to 2020, the amount of petroleum used has decreased slightly from highs around 2005. The use of natural gas has increased and the use of coal has substantially decreased. In 2020, due to the decreased economic activity because of coronavirus, petroleum usage was down 13% compared to the year before, natural gas down only 2% from the year before, and coal usage down 19% compared to 2019. 